thanks for joining me again in my little kitchen here in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and although it's theoretically springtime, it's cold, it's raining and it's miserable out. So I'm staying in and making comfort food and today that's going to be polenta with oyster mushrooms. I'm going to do the oyster mushrooms with rosemary and sage, garlic and onion, a little bit of tomato, so very traditional flavours and the polenta I'm going to keep plain and just add some milk, parmesan cheese and nutmeg just to enrich that before serving. So it's going to be a simple meal, very inexpensive and healthy, quick to make. I'm using an instant polenta so it will be ready in 10 or 15 minutes. So that's the plan for lunch. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, do subscribe to the channel and come back and follow me for more. Let's go. For today's recipe you are going to need oyster mushrooms, instant polenta, onion, parmesan cheese, nutmeg, tomato, sage, garlic, rosemary, milk and parsley. You are going to need a good handful of oyster mushrooms per portion. Cut these into small bite sized or spoon sized pieces. You're not going to be eating your polenta with a knife and fork. I decided to use oyster mushrooms today because that's what grows here locally. Of course you can use any other mushrooms that you may prefer. The next thing you're going to need is a large onion. Peel this and cut it into a rough dice. Next, remove the core from a medium sized tomato and cut this into a relatively small dice, like so. The next thing we need to do is to chop up our rosemary nice and fine and the sage. We're also going to need a little bit of parsley just for a touch of green to garnish at the end. And one more thing I'd almost forgotten, a small clove of garlic finely chopped. When it comes to instant polenta, I like to add it to the water whilst it's still cold and give it a good stir. This way you definitely will not have any lumps. My hand's not steady enough to add polenta to boiling water and whisk it and make sure there are no lumps. It never works out. This way it's foolproof. Whilst you bring the polenta up to the boil, add a little olive oil to the frying pan, keep your polenta stirring and we can begin preparing the mushrooms. We're going to start with the onion. Make sure to add a pinch of salt at the beginning whenever you fry onion this helps it to cook more quickly and it gives off its juices and natural sugars. Whilst we're using the salt, let's season the polenta and keep stirring it, bringing it up to temperature nice and slowly. After two or three minutes when the onion is translucent, we can add the garlic and the mushrooms. Once you've fried the mushrooms for two or three minutes, they're beginning to soften, we can add the aromatics, the rosemary and the sage. Stir this in well and at this point the kitchen will begin to smell wonderful of herbs and garlic. You're going to have to do a bit of multitasking stirring the polenta continuously until it begins to form bubbles like little volcanoes like this. At this point we're going to start adding some flavour. Some freshly grated nutmeg, a 
and when the nutmeg is mixed in well and the polenta continues to thicken, we're slowly going to add a little bit of milk at a time. Whisk this in vigorously to avoid any lumps forming, but you should be fine. Just a little at a time until we have the right consistency or whichever consistency you prefer. At this point we're going to add plenty of Parmesan cheese and whisk this in well. And now we can turn off the heat. I like to turn off the heat and let the polenta rest as it will continue to thicken and that way you can better judge the consistency. In the meantime, the mushrooms have become lovely and brown and now we can add the chopped tomato. Mix the tomato in well and then adjust the seasoning with salt and pepper. The tomato is finely chopped, so it's only going to take two or three minutes to cook. In the meantime, keep stirring the polenta and make sure it's a consistency that you prefer. Today, I want it to have a nice, soft, creamy consistency, like this. All we need to do now is to add our delicious mushrooms on top, plenty of them and piping hot. Perfect for a miserable rainy Saturday. Sprinkle with more Parmesan cheese and parsley. Give it a final dust of freshly ground black pepper and enjoy. Buon appetito!